Hello, my name is Dr. Clint Simpson and I am one of the cataract specialists here at TLC Eye Care and Laser Center. I have been trained in the most modern and advanced techniques for cataract surgery. Today, I would like to discuss with you what a cataract is and the process of cataract surgery. Before you and I meet for consultation, I just want to thank you for trusting TLC Eye Care and myself to take care of you and your vision needs. I would also like to show you this video to explain some important aspects of cataracts and the surgery we use to correct them. So first off, what is a cataract? A cataract is simply a changing of our lens going from crystal clear to cloudy. The lens is part of the eye located behind the iris or colored part of the eye that may be green, brown, or blue. The purpose of the lens is to focus light precisely onto the back of the eye or retina to help develop a clear picture. As we age, the lens naturally changes from crystal clear to cloudy. This cloudiness causes the previously focused light to scatter on the retina and results in a blurry image for you. Well, people often ask me, how do I know if my cataract is ready to be removed? The answer will vary from patient to patient, but when we as doctors have trouble improving your vision with glasses or contacts, and you feel that your vision is significantly affecting your daily life, then you are approaching that time. Of course, we will be looking for other reasons within your eyes, besides cataracts, that could be contributing to your decreased vision. Ultimately, there may be some things that will limit your ability to achieve perfect vision, but I will be happy to explain those to you and the steps we can take to help treat them. Once you've made the decision to improve your vision, we need to discuss several different options for you regarding your surgery. When we remove the old cloudy lens from your eyes, we will be replacing it with a beautiful crystal clear lens that will be custom fit specifically for your needs. And this new lens will be designed to last you the rest of your life. When choosing the lens that's best for you, I need you to think of your world in three distances, far, intermediate, and near. When we custom make your lens, we can pick any one of those three distances to be your primary focus point. However, that means you may still require some glasses for those other focusing points. For example, most of our patients will choose a lens that will focus well in the distance, which still requires them to rely on reading glasses for sharp, intermediate, and near work. There are also some premium lenses available to you here at TLC. The first is a toric lens. A toric lens is designed to help correct astigmatism. Astigmatism is just an irregular shape to the front part of the eye called the cornea, and this is a very common condition. This toric correction will give you a better opportunity to be free from glasses at the distance of your choosing. The other premium lens is called a multifocal lens, which is designed to give you focusing ability at far, intermediate, and near. This lens, however, like most things in life, is not without some drawbacks. But if you are interested in a world much less reliant on glasses and would like to discuss the multifocal lens, please ask me during your visit. Another option we can offer you is called blended vision or monovision. This is where we set one eye to focus for distance and the other eye for intermediate to near vision. This gives you the chance to see a range of distances without glasses and is a popular option in LASIK surgery. We can discuss this option as well if you think it might be right for you. Another option we are proud to offer here at TLC is the femtosecond laser. This is a laser that is used to assist us during cataract surgery to help you try to achieve a higher level of precision than standard cataract surgery. The laser can be used to create a bladeless surgery or correct smaller amounts of astigmatism than toric lenses. This revolutionary technology was first brought here to Michigan by TLC surgeons and I would be pleased to offer you this option of surgical vision correction. The surgeries are performed at the Genesis Surgical Center in Lansing, Michigan, or at Blakewoods Medical Surgical Center in Jackson. The surgery normally takes us about 15 minutes start to finish, but by the time you check in and are leaving the building, it's usually closer to three hours. There will be an anesthesiologist present who will give you enough medicine to keep you relaxed and comfortable throughout your procedure. The surgery has minimal discomfort associated with it, and you should be able to go home with someone else driving and resume most of your normal activities the very next day. Certainly, there are complications and risks involved with surgery, but fortunately here at TLC, that is a rare event. There are things like bleeding, infection, 
potential decrease in vision, and the need for a second surgery should something not go right with your primary surgery. All of these are very rare events. Our mission here at TLC is to always do the best job we can to get you seeing in the focus point you want with as little need for glasses as possible. Please feel free to bring a family member with you into the room and ask me as many questions as you would like during your visit. If nothing else, I want you to leave our office feeling informed about your eyes and your vision. Thank you for putting your faith and trust in me and the terrific staff here at TLC to help you with your vision needs. Cataract surgery and or implantation of intraocular lens IOL consent. What is a cataract and how is it treated? The lens in the eye can become cloudy and hard, a condition known as a cataract. Cataracts can develop from normal aging, from an eye injury, or if you have taken medications known as steroids. Cataracts may cause blurred vision, dulled vision, sensitivity to light and glare, and or ghost images. If the cataract changes vision so much that it interferes with your daily life, the cataract may need to be removed. Surgery is the only way to remove a cataract. You can decide not to have the cataract removed. If you don't have the surgery, your vision loss from the cataract will continue to get worse. How will removing the cataract affect my vision? The goal of cataract surgery is to correct the decreased vision that was caused by the cataract. During the surgery, the ophthalmologist, eye surgeon, removes the cataract and replaces the human lens with a new artificial lens called an intraocular lens, or IOL. Cataract surgery will not correct other causes of decreased vision, such as glaucoma, diabetes, or age-related macular degeneration. Most people still need to wear glasses or contact lenses after cataract surgery for either near and or distance vision and astigmatism. What types of IOLs are available? Your ophthalmologist will help you decide on the type of IOL that will replace your cloudy human lens. There are IOLs available to treat nearsightedness, myopia, farsightedness, hyperopia, and astigmatism. IOLs usually provide either near or distance vision. These single focus lenses are called monofocal IOLs. Some newer IOLs can provide for near, intermediate, and distance vision. These multiple focus lenses are called multifocal premium IOLs. IOLs that treat astigmatism are called toric IOLs. You can also have one eye corrected for near vision and the other for distance vision, a choice called monovision. What is astigmatism? Are there other treatments for it? Patients with nearsightedness and farsightedness often also have astigmatism. An astigmatism is caused by an irregularly shaped cornea. Instead of being round like a basketball, the cornea is shaped like a football. This can make your vision blurry. In addition to toric IOLs, astigmatism can be reduced by glasses, contact lenses, and refractive surgery, LASIK or PRK. There is also a procedure called a limbal relaxing incision, LRI which can be done at the same time as the cataract operation, or as a separate procedure. A limbal relaxing incision, LRI, is a small cut or incision the ophthalmologist makes into your cornea to make its shape rounder. Any attempt at astigmatism reduction could result in over or under correction, in which case glasses, contact lenses, or another procedure may be needed. Need to stop wearing contact lenses prior to surgery. If you wear contact lenses, you'll be required to leave them out of your eyes for a period of time prior to having surgery to allow the cornea to return to their natural shape. What are the major risks of cataract surgery? As a result of the surgery and associated anesthesia, it is possible that your vision could be made worse. In some cases, complications may occur weeks, months, or even years later. These and other complications may result in poor vision, total loss of vision, or even loss of the eye in rare situations. Depending upon the type of anesthesia, other risks are possible, including cardiac and respiratory problems, and in rare cases, death. Although all of these complications can occur, their incidence following cataract surgery is low. Risks of cataract surgery include, but are not limited to, complications of removing the natural lens may include hemorrhage, bleeding, rupture of the capsule that supports the IOL, perforation of the eye, clouding of the outer lens of the eye, corneal edema, which can be corrected with a corneal transplant. Swelling in the central area of the retina, called cystoid macular edema, which usually improves with time. Retained pieces of lens in the eye, which may need to be removed surgically. Infection, detachment of the retina, which is definitely an increased risk for highly nearsighted patients, but which can usually be repaired. Uncomfortable or painful eye, droopy eyelid, increased astigmatism, glaucoma, and double vision. 
These and other complications may occur whether or not an IOL is implanted and may result in poor vision, total loss of vision, or even loss of the eye in rare situations. Additional surgery may be required to treat these complications. Complications associated with the IOL may include increased night glare and or halo, double or ghost images, and dislocation of the IOL. Multifocal IOLs may increase the likelihood of these problems. In some instances, corrective lenses or surgical replacement of the IOL may be necessary for adequate visual function following cataract surgery. Complications associated with local anesthesia injections around the eye include perforation of the eye, destruction of the optic nerve, interference with the circulation of the retina, droopy eyelid, bruising, double vision, respiratory depression, hypotension, cardiac problems, and in rare situations, brain damage or death. If a monofocal IOL is implanted, either distance, reading glasses, or contacts will be needed after cataract surgery for adequate vision. Complications associated with monovision. Monovision may result in problems with impaired depth perception. Choosing the wrong eye for distance correction may result in feeling that things are the wrong way around. Once surgery is performed, it is not always possible to undo what is done or to reverse the distance in near eye without some loss of visual quality. Complications associated with multifocal IOLs. While a multifocal IOL can reduce dependency on glasses, it might result in less sharp vision, which may become worse in dim light or fog. It may also cause some visual side effects such as rings or circles around lights at night. It may be difficult to distinguish an object from a dark background, which will be more noticeable in areas with less light. Driving at night may be affected. If you drive a considerable amount at night or perform delicate, detailed, up-close work requiring closer focus than just reading, a monofocal lens in conjunction with eyeglasses may be a better choice for you. If complications occur at the time of surgery, a monofocal IOL may need to be implanted instead of a multifocal IOL. Complications associated with limbal relaxing incisions, LRIs, astigmatic keratotomy, AK. Limbal relaxing incision and astigmatic keratotomy are surgical procedures to reduce astigmatism. Some complications associated with these procedures are surgical perforation of the cornea, infection, overcorrection and undercorrection. In the immediate postoperative period, refraction may fluctuate. Additional surgery may be necessary to reverse overcorrection or undercorrection. If an IOL is implanted, it is done by a surgical method. It is intended that the small plastic silicone or acrylic IOL will be left in the eye permanently. If complications occur at the time of surgery, the doctor may decide not to implant an IOL in your eye even though you may have given prior permission to do so. Other factors, such as pre-existing conditions, may affect the visual outcome of cataract surgery, including other eye diseases such as glaucoma, double vision, diabetic retinopathy, age-related macular degeneration, the power of the IOL, individual healing ability, and, if with certain IOLs, the function of the ciliary focusing muscles in your eyes. The selection of the proper IOL, while based upon sophisticated equipment and computer formulas, is not an exact science. Any pre-existing refractive corneal surgery may affect your outcome. After your eye heals, its visual power may be different from what was predicted by preoperative testing. You may need to wear glasses or contacts after surgery to obtain your best vision. Additional surgeries such as IOL exchange, placement of an additional IOL, or refractive laser surgery may be needed if you are not satisfied with your vision after cataract surgery. The results of surgery cannot be guaranteed. If you choose a multifocal IOL, it is possible that not all of the near and intermediate focusing ability of your eye will be restored. Additional treatment and or surgery may be necessary. Regardless of the IOL chosen, you may need laser surgery to correct clouding of vision. At some future time, the IOL implanted in your eye may have to be repositioned, removed surgically, or exchanged for another IOL. If your ophthalmologist has informed you that you have a high degree of hyperopia, farsightedness, and or that the axial length of your eye is short, your risk for a complication known as nanophthalmic choroidal effusion is increased. This complication could result in difficulties completing the surgery and implanting a lens or even loss of the eye. If your ophthalmologist has informed you that you have a high degree of myopia, nearsightedness, and or that the axial length of your eye is long, your risk for a complication called a retinal detachment is increased. Retinal detachments can usually be repaired, but may lead to vision loss or blindness. Since only one eye will undergo surgery at a time, you may experience a period of imbalance between the two eyes, anisometropia. Surgery in the second eye can be accomplished once the first eye has stabilized to reduce imbalance.
These and other complications may result in poor vision, total loss of vision, or even loss of the eye in rare situations. You may need additional treatment or surgery to treat these complications. This additional treatment is not included in the fee for this procedure.